and here we are. What's going on, you guys? Slow here, and we're finally back with another video. So, as you guys can see, finally here with the Season 5 Battle Pass. The Black Sail Battle Pass, it's got a bunch of extra stuff included, and you do have to pay for it. I personally don't buy the Battle Passes like this. Uh, if anything, I'll just buy the regular one. This is a new Battle Pass, so we have a bunch of different things. We have a bunch of different blueprints, a bunch of different skins, and one of the main things here being the FR Advancer. So, we do have to work our way through the, through the Battle Pass to be able to unlock it, so it is going to take a minute. So, apparently, there's also going to be a Task Force 141 one event but it doesn't start until two days the other thing is that we have the correct 300 as you guys can see here is that this sniper rifle is actually from the original Modern warfare 2 that they decided to add back to the remake essentially so it's pretty cool and this is the main operator here being graves himself that you don't get until you finish the battle pass so it's just like any other one and this is the black cell version of him and like i said this is also the of uh, the black cell version of the final operator being graves which is kind of cool i like how they add these little things to him and make him stick out more but like i said it's only if you buy it. And here's the Grand Master, the blueprint for the, F the FR Advancer. Pretty neat. Uh, kind of looks cool with the red skin on it, the red camo. And this is the Black Cell version where it's the Grand Master. It's got that kind of like carbon fiber black ish to it with the gold. So, really quick, so we can get actually started on the Battle Pass is that obviously, as you guys can see here, we have the Black Cell version of the Battle Pass. It's got the original Season 5. Plus, you get to skip 20 tiers. You get 16 unique Black Cell rewards. You get the exclusive operator bundle and you get a new tactical pet. Even though that sounds so pretty and dandy. I'm gonna pass because I personally don't want to buy it. They do offer the regular battle pass, as you guys can see here. All it comes included with is the 100 unlockable rewards and plus 1400 COD points. So you at least get some money back. And luckily enough for us, since we actually saved up our COD points from the previous battle pass, as you guys can see here on the top right screen, it only costs us 1100 COD points. So bam, right off the back, we got Graves. Uh, we immediately get the Lucena. We also have Take Point for this new uh, skin for the Attack 56. We, oh yeah, we have Oz, the new operator that's included in the season. And we get our Battle Pass boost. So we started, still gotta get this first section going to be able to purchase it and then move one, two, three, four, four tiers up to the right to be able to get the FR Advancer. So stay tuned. Later. So that's taking way too long. I basically used the battle pass token to be able to move up on it a lot faster, but it's not happening. So this is one of the new maps that are added to strike 24 seven. How is that a hit marker? My team's not even taking anything. Eventually. Now this is Punta Mar. 
Apparently we're gonna be playing Kill Confirmed. Uh, this is the one where people were saying it looked like Favela from Modern Warfare 2. So many areas in this map, dude. I think that's the one thing I don't like about these type of maps is that there's so many spaces that you can hide inside of. Get the tags. Oh. Took a nice triple, at least, out of this entire game. Damn, hold on. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of these maps, to be completely honest. And there's way too many hiding spaces. It's way too open. If anything, this this is a map more for like um, ground war and stuff like that. Or I wouldn't be surprised if this was added to Warzone at some point. So yeah, as you guys get to see, uh, the, these maps are just uh, at the same time way too open, but have way too many hiding spaces for my personal taste. If anything, that stuff is more that type of design is more for like ground war. But that's my personal opinion. I don't know how you guys feel. But either way, you guys get to see the new battle pass, everything that we get that comes included, including with the black cell version of the battle pass. Uh, there's new weapons. Fortunately, we can't we can't use the FR advancer until we unlock it, and we're way far from being able to do so. So that's going to be a video for another day. So thank you so much for watching, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video uh, with everything I was able to work with. But yeah, let me know down below. And we're also finally back with Resident Evil 4. We're slowly but surely making progress to be able to finish the game because we're overdue with being able to finish it. And we also have our G Fuel Las Plagas video unboxing available on the channel as well if you guys want to check that out. And yeah, don't forget to check out our most recent video right here. Let me know what you guys think. And yeah, it's been long, you guys. Thanks so much for watching. And I'll catch you next time.